this video we are going to explain about the project title in was cooking recipe generation from food images the project's core purpose is to teach computers how to understand recipes from pictures of food imagine taking a snapshot of a dish and your computer provides you with a step by step cooking instructions just like a professional chef this project is incredibly useful because it comes to the rescue when we spot a delicious looking dish but don't have the recipe we can simply use a photo to get the recipe making cooking more accessible and enjoyable for everyone it tackles the challenge of converting food images into practical recipes and it achieves this using advanced technologies like machine learning and image processing this convenience not only makes cooking easier but also aids people with dietary restrictions by suggesting suitable recipes in essence it transforms the way we cook by enabling us to cook from images marking a significant shift in culinary practices The project's main aim is to build a system that can make cooking recipes from pictures of food. In plain words, we can take a photo of a dish and the system will give a complete recipe to prepare it. To make this happen, the project uses powerful algorithms such as CNN, convolutional neural network which are like expert detectives for images. These algorithms analyze food images to extract important details. CNN especially are skilled at examining food pictures helping the system understand what ingredients are in the dish how it's cooked and even its nutritional information think of them as detectives that uncover the secrets hidden in food photos making the system's recipe generation possible requirements the requirements of the project are hardware requirements in which we have operating system of windows processor of i5 and above ram of 8 gb and above hard disk of 25 gb and above software requirements in which we have anaconda 3 and visual studio community version flow of project to implement this project we have designed the following modules the first module is importing the packages in this module we typically import the necessary python libraries and packages required for the project for a project involving image processing and cnn common packages include numpy for numerical operations and array handling matplotlib or seaborn for data visualization and plotting tensorflow or pytorch deep learning frameworks for building and training cnn exploring the data set here the project team thoroughly examines the data set containing food images and related information this exploration helps them understand the data set structure its content and what kind of data they have to work with image processing this module deals with enhancing and optimizing the food images it includes tasks like resizing normalizing and cleaning the images to prepare them for further analysis data extraction Data extraction involves retrieving specific information from the data set. In this context, it means identifying and isolating the relevant details related to recipes and food images. Recipe extraction. Within the data extraction process, there is a specific focus on extracting information related to recipes. This involves identifying and extracting the instructions and details needed to recreate a dish. Appending in which we have ingredients and nutrition in this step the project organizes and structures the recipe data by adding essential components such as ingredients nutritional facts and cooking style this makes it easier to work with the data in subsequent stages cooking style splitting the data into train and test The data set is divided into two parts a training set and a testing set the training set is used to train machine learning models while the testing set is used to evaluate the model's performance this separation ensures that the models generalize well to new data model building in which we have different algorithms auto encoder cnn keras and torch this module involves building and training convolutional neural network cnn using both keras and pytorch frameworks auto encoders are a specific type of neural network architecture used for tasks like image reconstruction in this context they are used to understand and extract features from food images mini vgg 
Mini VGT is a neural network architecture inspired by the VGG net designed for image classification tasks. In this project, Mini VGG is used to classify or recognize food images, helping identify different dishes. Mini Google Net Mini Google Net is another neural network architecture inspired by Google's Inception Net. It's effective for tasks like object recognition and images. Here, Mini Google Net is used to recognize ingredients or cooking styles in food images. Mini AlexNet Mini AlexNet is based on the AlexNet architecture and is known for its performance in image classification. In this project, it is employed to classify or understand the content of food images. CNN with two fully connected layers. This module involves creating a CNN architecture with two additional fully connected layers. Fully connected layers are typically used for making predictions or decisions based on the extracted features from earlier layers. In this context, they are used to make decisions about recipes or cooking instructions based on the features extracted from food images. Training the model with train and test and building the model. In this module, machine learning models such as CNN are trained using a portion of the data set called the training set. These models learn to understand and extract information from food images. The trained model's architecture is built and fine-tuned to optimize its performance. Flash Framework with SQLite for sign-up and sign-in This module involves setting up a web application using the Flash Framework. The application includes features for user registration sign-up and authentication sign-in. SQLite is used as a database to securely store user information. Modeling building using autoencoder using Touch. A specific machine learning model based on autoencoders is built using the PyTorch framework. Autoencoders are used to understand and extract essential features from food images, which is crucial for recipe generation. User gives input. Users interact with the system by providing input, likely in the form of food, image or related information. This input serves as the basis for generating a recipe. The given input is pre-processed for prediction. Before using the input for prediction, it needs to be pre-processed. This pre-processing step ensures that the input is compatible with the trained model and can be used effectively. Trained model is used for generation of recipe for about image. The trained machine learning model which has learned to understand and interpret food images is utilized to generate a recipe based on the user's input. This could involve recognizing ingredients, cooking styles and nutritional information. Final outcome is displayed through front end. The generated recipe or cooking instructions are presented to the user through a user friendly front end interface. Users can view and follow the recipe to prepare the dish, dish they inquired about. Execution To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. This is the code folder. This is the images folder in which we have different images of the different food items. This is the model folder which contains the algorithm information which can be used during the execution of the project. This is the static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap files. This is the templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc. which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. This is notebook.ipynb file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science. This is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. First, we need to copy the path of the code folder from the file explorer. So I'm copying the path. Open the Anaconda prompt. 
choose the cd command followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit enter this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py here i am typing python space app.py and hit enter this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax error or logical issues after running the app.py file the flash framework will host the application locally at the default address that is 127.0.0.1 and port which is 5000 now copy this local link i'm copying the link and paste this copied link into any web browser i usually prefer google chrome now hit enter the home page of the project is displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flash framework now click on sign up button if you are a new user we need to register first but i have already registered so click on sign in button This is the login form. Here we need to enter the username and the password which we have created. So I'm entering the username and the password, and now click on login. This is the home page of the project. So here we need to upload a food image, and after uploading the food image, we will get the complete recipe of that particular image. So now I'm uploading a food image. So here I have selected the first image and open. So here we can see this is the food image which I have uploaded. And we need to wait for few seconds so that the recipe is generated. So here we can see we got the food name that is rice pulao and we even got the ingredients which are used to prepare that particular food so here these are the ingredients which are used and this is the step by step instructions to prepare that particular food so we got the complete recipe ingredients and the food name and we have two recipes here recipe 1 and recipe 2 So here we can see this is the recipe too, and these are the ingredients, and this is the food name. So now let us upload some more images and find the recipe. So I'm uploading one more image. Open. So here we can see this is samosa. We need to wait for few seconds to get the recipe. So here we can see we got the food name that is crescent rolls and we got the ingredients which are used to prepare that food these are the ingredients and this is the step by step instructions to prepare that food so here we can see we have recipe 1 and the recipe 2 so this is the recipe 2 which is used to prepare the crescent trick so in this way by uploading the food image we can get the food name ingredients and the step by step recipe and the conclusion of the project is the project has achieved its primary goal of developing a system that can create cooking recipes from pictures of food dishes this accomplishment simplifies the process of replicating dishes seen in images effectively turning visual inspiration into practical cooking guidance This innovation is particularly impactful for individuals with dietary restrictions or those seeking specific dietary preferences. By suggesting suitable recipes based on food images, it it makes cooking more accessible and accommodating. It essentially provides personalized culinary solutions. 
Looking forward, this project paves the way for future developments in AI-powered cooking assistance. It has the potential to change how we interact with and learn about food in the digital age. The ability to cook from images not only enhances convenience but also encourages exploration and creativity in the kitchen, potentially revolutionizing the culinary world. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.